What is up, what's up, what is up, FS Club? Welcome back to the channel. Well, today is Thursday, guys, and we got some amazing mods to go over today. We didn't get too many, but we got some good ones. On consoles today, we got the John Deere 1870 Air Ho Drill, the John Deere CA50 Air Cart, the Italian Auger Wagon Pack, the NMC Dozer Snowplow, the IT Runner Tanker Pack, the Wood Old Shed, and the OP2000. Now, updates for today. We got the Pottinger Hit 690N, the John Deere 7000 series, the linear distributor and flowers. You know what? Let's just roll that intro and let's get these new mods. Here we go. Welcome back, and here we are with the first mods for today. And as you guys can see, they are the big ones, the ones everybody's been waiting for. This is the John Deere 1870 Air Ho Drill, and I'm also going to consider the John Deere CA50 Air Cart part of that pack too, because you really don't want to use the other without the other. Okay, but anyways, the Air Ho Drill is $293,990, 23.2 working meters, 14 slots. It does require 520 horsepower, so you probably need something very powerful which i don't even know if the base game tractors even go that high uh, but anyways let's see options on this one there is no options for this one then we have the ca50 error cart which is 346,811, 23 slots so if you combine these slots uh be about 37 slots uh, let's see this holds 29,953 liters and this does seeding and fertilizer tanks uh, let's see options though we got that right there which is 19,029 liters of seed and the rest is fertilizer then you could just put it as just seed and then you could do seed. Okay, so you either have the seed or the seed and fertilizer. Will Brand, you have Midas, you have Michelin. Uh, let's see, you got the 870R38s, the 42s, the back to the 38s. Uh, let's see, with the Michelin, you have the same thing. Numbers, you got one all the way up to nine. Rear hitch, yes or no on that one. Let's actually take a look at this one in game. Okay, and here we go right here. There isn't actually many tractors in the base game that can actually pull this thing, but I did find one, and this, of course, is the base game K620. Okay, so let's get into this one real quick. Okay, let's go ahead and hook this all up. So let's go right over here, hook that up real quick, and then now we get to hook of the air cart, which this ought to be fun. Okay, so let's go over here. Come on. Can't even see where the rear hitch is. Oh, there we go. Right there. Okay, so this is all hooked up. Let's go right over to here. I'm not going to feel this because everybody should know how to feel this, but I will show you guys, uh, well, how you get the options and all that on it. So let's go right over here to this empty field. Okay, there we go right there. Okay, let's go ahead and turn on the help window. Okay, first things first is let's unfold that so you guys can see actually how big that thing is, watch. Keeps on going, keeps on going. The detail on this is amazing. Look at all of that. Even the stickers on this thing. Let's see if I can read that. It says, danger, avoid injury or dead, do not contact. Electric lines. Yeah, all these stickers. Drain, operator, everything. Wow. And then look at every single hose on here. Custom modding outdid themselves with this one. Okay, and then you got all these going back into here. Wouldn't it be amazing if this thing could all work? Oh, that thing's even blinking. Okay, that's definitely different. Definitely nice. Okay, so let's go over to here. Okay, let's go to the back one real quick. Let's see, we got fold sower, turn on sower. So you can select wheat, barley, oats, canola, soybeans, oil seed, grass, and then back to wheat. And then if you go over to here, let me back up out of the way real quick. Go to open cover. This is what it does. So it fills one of those up. Just depends on what you have. Then the second one, which is either fertilizer and then seed. And then back to closing cover. So then it closes the cover up. And that is it on that. So let's go ahead and close it. 
And then I'll just hire a worker and you guys can see real quick. So it goes right there. That all lowers. And there we go right there. So really nice. Let me move out of the way real quick. As you see. Love, love, love this mod right here. They did an amazing job. Okay, so that is the John Deere 1870 Air Ho Drill and the John Deere CA50 Air Cart. Okay, and then the next one after that is we have some new auger wagons. This is the Italian auger wagon pack. They include two right here. We have the MG50 TC and the CF50. Let's see, the MG50 TC is 9,500, seven slots, holds up to 7,800 liters and 50 horsepower on this one. Of course, this does your regular crops plus your corn and does seed and fertilizer. So you know what? This might be good with the John Deere we just showed off. Okay, so let's go over here. Rim color, you can change the color to either white, gray, or red. Uh, let's see, configuration without oversides, with oversides, which that brings it up to 7,800. If I go back up there, there we go. And then back to without. Wheelburn, you got Midas, you got Trailborg, Nokian. Midas, you got Standard, you got default fenders. And then back to Standard, let's see, Trailborg, Smooth, Smooth fenders, and back to Smooth. Nokian, you got Road, plus Road, plus fenders, and then back to Road. Then we got PTO with protection, the Hama Kinetic with PTO, and then back to PTO with protection. Pipe, we got high, pap, high pipe and low exhaust. We got tail tube. We got high rear plus low exhaust. We got high discharge. And then back to there again. Tatcher type, we got trailer hitch. Uh, we got ball bottom uh, attachment. And then back to trailer hitch. And then let's see, for the ZF50, which is 7,500, seven slots, holds it to 7,800 liters. It does require 50 horsepower. Let's see, this looks like probably the same options. Yeah, same options, but you can change the main color from new or used, which, wow, used is a lot brighter than the new one. And then the rim colors is the same too, except for you got the new red and the old red. Uh, let me check the wheel setup real quick. Looks like everything is yeah, exactly the same as the other one. Okay, so that is the Italian auger wagon pack. Okay, the next one is a new attachment for the D11 dozer from NMC Modding. This is the NMC Dozer Snowplow. It's $45,000, 7.0 working meters. It is two slots. So you put this on the front of your dozer and you'll be able to snowplow. Let's see options on this one. We got main color, pretty much any color. So of course you can have it pink, you can have it purple, you can have a blue, whatever color you want. So that is the dozer snowplow. Okay, and then the next one after that is a new IT Runner Pack. This is the IT Runner Tanker Pack. Let's see, it's $55,000 for this one, four slots. Uh, let's see, 145 horsepower is required. This is, of course, a hook lift. Uh, let's see, main color, you can change it to any color. Wow, there's a lot of colors on that. Same thing with that. There is definitely more colors than I'm used to. Barbie pink chrome. What? <laughs> Uh, let's see, we got Barbie Pink Chrome, Barbie Pink Metallic, Barbie Pink. Okay. Anyways, uh, main color, any color, rim color, any color. Will Brand, you got Trellborg, Michelin, and Lizard, uh, and Nokian. Let's see, oh, and Edge Industries. Okay, Trellborg, you have Radial, you have Wide Radial, Twin Radial, Forestry, Rough, and let's see, uh, Michelin, you have Cargo, you have Heavy Duty, Wide Cargo, Off Road. Narrow twin wheels, and back to cargo. Let's see, Lizard, you have Crawler Track. That looks kind of cool. And then back to Standard, and then back to Crawler Track. Nokians, you have Off-Road, Standard, and back to Off-Road. Then Edge Industries, you have Rough, you have Wide Tires, Standard, and then back to Off-Road. Uh, hitch, you have Trailer Hitch, you have no Trailer Hitch. So probably puts it in the back. Let me make sure real quick. Yes, it puts it in the back right there. Okay, but that is not all of this pack. Let's go over to probably miscellaneous. And then, yeah, there we go right there. We have the Liquid Lightning ITR and the Liquid Lightning ITR right there. These are 15,900 for that and the same price for that one. This looks like this holds a little bit more than this one. Uh, let's see, 50,000 liters on both of these. Uh, so this one looks like it does milk and fuel. And this one looks like it does pretty much all the liquids on that one. So this is a multi-liquid tank, and this one is just a fuel tank and looks like a milk tank. Uh, let's see, it does require 85 horsepower, 18 slots on both of these. Let's see, main color, any color, design color, any color. Then we got the default decals. Ooh, that's kind of cool, flammable liquid. 
Uh, white decals, black decals, gold decals. Let's see, we got beacon and work lights. So there is beacons on this thing. And you can put it up to no lights. Let's see, manhole design. You got paint it. You got detail paint it. Back to paint it. We'll set up. You got standard. Uh, pour, uh, perforate it. Uh, then back to standard. Capacity, you got standard. You got high pressure tank, which I believe if you have the high pressure, it actually fills up really fast. And then back to standard on that. Wish you could change that uh, that icon right there, that flammable liquid thing. And then we got this one right here. Let's see, main color, any color. Design color, any color. Then let's see, default decals, white decals, black, gold, no decals. And we got the same thing with this. Uh, manhole painted or detail painted. Uh, let's see, wheel setup standard or perforated. Capacity standard or high pressure tank on that one. Okay, let me make sure that there is no other, uh, well, options with this thing. Okay, and there is some more. So if we go all the way over to the slurry tanks, there it is right there. Same price, same amount of slots, same horsepower, same amount of liters. It does hold up a lot. 50,000 liters is pretty good amount. And I think this is, yeah, it's pretty much exactly the same as the other one. And there's also another one, I believe, under crop protection. So if we go over there, there it is right there. Uh, don't think this thing actually sprays, but it will hold, of course, uh, fertilizer or herbicide. Uh, but yeah, this is exactly the same as the other one. So that is the IT Runner Tanker Pack. Okay, and now the next one that is right next to that one is the Lizard OP2000, which I believe this is already released, if I'm not mistaken. But I will go over it again just in case. Let's see, it's $7,000, six slots, 15 working meters, 2,000 liters it can hold, and this does, of course, fertilization or herbicide. Options though, you got main color, you got white, yellow, or blue. Design color, you got a lot of reds. And then rim color, grays, and a lot of reds. So that is the OP2000. So that is it of the regular mods. Like I said, it is a slow day, guys. Okay, let's get to the only placeable for today. Okay, and so here we are with the only placeable for today. And this is the Wood Old Shed. It's $4,000, two slots, $10 a day on this. And let's see, 360 rotation on this one. So let's go ahead and place that real quick right there. So there it is right there. Nice little shed. Be able to put some bales in here. No lights. Okay, so that is it of the placeables for today. Like I said, slow day, slow, slow day. Okay, let's go over, of course, those updates for today. Okay, now we're on the new updates for today. So the first update for today we got is the Pottinger Hit 690N. What did this change? Completely newly created model, which corresponds to the current LS standards and the new configurations and functions on that one. And then the next one, the John Deere 7000 series. What did this change? Adjusted and fixed problem with flexible cutter and the cutter bar texture adjusted on that one. And then after that one, we got one for the linear distributor. What did this change? Added multicolor on that one. Then we have just one more, and that is flowers. What did this change? Round and square pots added on that one. So that is all the updates for today. Okay, so that was the new mods, the new placeables, and of course the updates for today. Today was a kind of a slow day, but hopefully tomorrow we get a lot more mods. I mean, we did get some amazing mods today. What is your guys' favorite mod for today? Let me know down in the comment section below, guys. I'm gonna have to say, of course, that John Deere 1870 and the C850, amazing mod, amazing detail on that. Now, today's schedule after this video, no FS Daily News, there will be one tomorrow, but we will have a live stream tonight at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, so hopefully you guys do join us for that. Like always, if you guys did like the video, make sure you guys do pound that like button. If you have something, make sure you guys do, like always, have an all-stay farmers. Peace.